How we interact with medicine is changing before our eyes. The approach of prescribing drugs based on your age, weight, and symptoms could soon be considered archaic. DNA testing is being used to predict your response to drugs. Think of it as personalized medicine that uses your unique blueprint as a guide. It's known in the medical world as pharmacogenetics. Pharmacogenetics is a science that explores the interplay between our genes and how individuals' body processes pharmaceuticals, hence the word pharmacogenetics. Let's use coffee as an example. It contains the also beloved drug caffeine, which we all process differently. Some can drink it all day and have no trouble sleeping, while it may have the opposite effect on others. That means your body either breaks down caffeine quickly or slowly. So the same way as um, our DNA determines our personal characteristics, color of our eyes or hair or body type, it also controls the way our enzymes work. And for a particular pharmaceutical to be effective, it needs to be present in the bloodstream at a specific concentration. So variations in DNA affect the enzymes that process medications. Enzymes in your liver are key here. They create chemical reactions in your body. And depending on which enzymes you have or don't have, some reactions to drugs can be faster or completely dormant. This is likely to become the gold standard in the future to understand the patient's um, individual makeup. An industry is developing where a direct-to-consumer DNA kit is ordered online. Most provide a cotton swab for a saliva sample, which is then sent to a lab for analysis. So this is the very expensive technology that they use to extract DNA. Basically, they're trying to match drugs with certain gene types. So your body can metabolize medication either very quickly, which means it would have no effect, or it would do it very slowly, which would mean you might have adverse symptoms. With pharmacogenetic insight, Scientists say they are trying to determine what's the optimal drug and dosage for a person based on the individual's genetics. This can range from antidepressants, painkillers, or cholesterol-lowering medications. Taking drugs can be like a tricky chemistry experiment. You're sending a foreign chemical in your body, hoping that the perfect amount is absorbed. If you're a rapid metabolizer of a specific drug, your body clears of it very quickly, and the therapeutic concentration in the blood and tissues may not be reached. But in other people, the drug can be metabolized so slowly that it accumulates in the bloodstream. Think of it as an overconcentration of medication, creating a higher risk of side effects. So this is where the DNA gets analyzed. At a certain point, you get a report that covers about 179 molecules. That's about 70% of all prescribed medication. Those results are then used by a healthcare professional to understand which drugs are in the clear, which should be used with caution, and which should be avoided. Your genetics don't change, um, so knowing this information about how you might potentially respond to medication before you start it um, can be really useful in managing your care and avoiding side effects and making sure you're on the most effective drug for your body. Pharmacogenetics actually dates back to the 1950s, where University of Toronto professor Werner Kahlau was a pioneer in researching how genetic variations affect the way we metabolize drugs. He is considered one of the founding fathers of pharmacogenetics. But this way of prescribing medication is far from mainstream. Pharmacogenetics is an established science, but it's still very new in practice. As of now, most people have to pay out of pocket to get a DNA test from a private company that provides pharmacogenetic insights. It's also not guaranteed you'll find a healthcare professional that will know how to interpret the results. Uh, physicians, practitioners who went to school maybe 20 years ago, uh, it was, was just not part of the education. Adverse reactions to prescription drugs is the fourth leading cause of death in the U.S. and costs the healthcare system $136 billion annually. In Canada and the U.S. combined, it kills more than 100,000 people a year. In traditional prescribing, what happens is you're given a standard dose and then Physicians observe and based on clinical presentation, they decide whether to increase dose, reduce dose, change medication. So the whole process takes sometimes weeks, sometimes many weeks. So with the pharmacogenetic insights, we can leapfrog that uh, phase of trial and error or figuring out what's the optimal medication regimen for me. 
Science shows no humans metabolize drugs the exact same way, and it has a lot to do with evolution. And our livers are designed by our interactions over millions of years with poisonous plants and semi-poisonous plants and other kinds of toxins. According to Kennedy, what your ancestors foraged has led to differences in how we metabolize drugs. And it's, in the simplest terms, it, it's due to the very different uh, diets that people had, say, in the Mediterranean basin versus in Northern Europe or Central Africa or in Asia. Although your DNA blueprint is a solid guide on which drugs are in the clear and which should be avoided, Kennedy says, other factors such as your diet and lifestyle play an important role too. He believes the key is to work with your doctor and pharmacist closely to understand your DNA results and life choices and how they could alter your reactions to drugs. This way, the so-called chemistry experiment proves to be successful. Thanks for watching Global News. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button to get the latest international news and best trending video.